Hello my dear friends, this is Amir and in this channel we learn about power electronics. Here is my second video. I hope you enjoy the videos recorded for you and don't forget to kindly subscribe and please like the videos if you find them interesting. In this video we'll work on PWM in DSP C2000. For starters, I briefly introduce how PWM works. So, let's get started. Okay, for an introduction, I have to plot this. I'll tell you why. All right, we've got this signal. It looks like a mountain, but of course, it's not a mountain. It's our carrier signal. Okay, we need another signal. A fixed uh, the, a fixed signal that is called a uh, reference signal. Okay, my friends, uh, the process in which the PWM signal is generated is nothing but comparing. So, let me explain how we can do it. This is a point and this is another point, and again. During this time, you may notice that our carrier signal is up, so we've got our signal on, better to say our MOSFET or our IGBT is on, okay? And during this, we've got off time. And again, it will continue. Uh, I know I'm not a good painter, but I do my best. Anyway, uh, this is our PWM signal. Be careful, in microcontrollers, uh, we've we have a counter and the green one is compare all right uh, this is uh, the signals in DSP or microcontrollers we deal with Okay, uh, but why we call it a counter? Let's see. This begins with zero and it continues to reach T, B, P, or D. And again, it goes down. Okay, this is our counter. But why this way? It's because in microcontrollers, we don't have any analog signal. We have a digital signal. So, uh, it counts up and again counts down. Uh, I have mentioned TBPRD, but I haven't said that what TBPRD is. Okay, it's simply put time base period. 
all right but why we use it we use it to determine our switching frequency and how I would say this is by this formula the clock frequency four and um, P or D which is TBPRD all right let's elaborate it we know our we know our switching frequency it could be 20 kilohertz 50 kilohertz or so on uh, this is based our uh, design but what is the clock frequency it's about our DSP it's about our launch band in our DSP which is 28 359 D we've got 200 megahertz so it could be 200 megahertz and what is remained is our PRD so in code composer code composer studio we have to determine the value of PRD so uh, let me to uh, change this formula to this one PRD equals to the clock frequency divided by 4 the switching frequency all right uh, maybe you've designed a boost converter and you have calculated the switching frequency of your converter and it's 20 kilohertz and we know we know that this is 200 megahertz therefore we reach PRD equals uh, 2500 okay this is the value that you must put it on code composer studio and uh, we will learn about this more in our future videos so in this example our counter begins with 0 and ends in 2500 which is, which means that our switching frequency is 20 kilohertz all right let's move on the formula that I've mentioned is this and this is applicable in this waveform you know uh, we have three methods uh, better to say we have three um, counter types the first one is up mode the second one is down mode and the third one is up down mode so uh, this is uh, for these kind of uh, counters which our counter goes up and then goes down All right I've mentioned that I'm not a good painter this type 
Okay, but we've got up mode. It goes up and again goes up. And we've got down mode, which goes down and again goes down. And uh, we have our switching frequency uh, in this formula. Uh, I have to mention that uh, we most of the time we use the up down mode counter so we use this one we will talk about this in our next videos so let's call it a day uh, I ask you again to uh, turn up the notification button uh, and okay that's it and bye bye my friends take care